Hey everyone, uh, this is a Happy Animate Cafe manager here with a dozer. The virtual console commentary on the games I've downloaded from the virtual console. So the next one on the list is Mario Kart 64. Believe it or not, this is the very first Nintendo 64 game I've ever played. I remember pl playing this all over at uh, someone's house. Not not a friend of mine, but some people my parents knew. Or uh, have it been a quick way well, with. Okay, I got got together with some other ki kids in this one room, room and we, we were playing Mario Kart in the 64. And this is a very game that made me want to own a Nintendo 64. I mean, I just uh, like the concept of a uh, racing uh, game uh, involving the Mario Kart characters, but it's unfortunate I wasn't aware of Super Mario Kart on the Super Nintendo. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Yeah, this is one, one of the games I brought. One of those games I ran in front of the video store. I did uh, like the, the series a bit, bit back there, then. Talking about Legend of Zelda, that is, and I didn't didn't re rent this very very often. I think I've only rented this at least once or twice. The game, it's because because again, to me the game is very complicated, so I get yeah, gave up on on it after playing it for a while. Next up is Paper Mario. This is one, another game that I rented from the video store. Uh, back when I had a Super Nintendo and was living in, in that old, old tenement apartment. Well, and the, the, this is a game that I was highly addicted to. I couldn't get enough of it. Sadly, I wasn't able to own it because my parents are very st stingy about me uh, letting me own a t ton of video ga games. So, for uh, Paper Mario, I had t tons of uh, fun playing it. And I just uh, like the concept. Let's see, the the, the simple R RPG ga game play, playing the overworld world style gameplay and saw solving puzzles. So, I liked it. Simplicity of the this a little more, a little more more than the Legends of Zelda, but I eventually start to appreciate the cryptic puzzles offered in Legend of Zelda. Pokemon Puzzle League. Yeah, man, make up a puzzle the game with with a Pokemon theme, and kids will buy it. I didn't buy this up, uh, unfortunately, but back when I had the Nintendo 64, I ran, ran this a couple of times from the vi local video store. Just a game, puzzle game, gameplay play is a, is a bit fun. Also try to try a variety of uh, modes, but... For an extended ch challenge, and I just love, love like the how they all how they put versus Zen as much characters uh, from from the anime as well as Pokemon. But it's really just a run of the mill game. And next up uh, here is Wild Guns. Well, what made me pl play this is. I I watched the uh, Cinema Massacre vi video of uh, Mike's top ten Super NES games, and uh, I was fucking hooked on this game. Well, it's, it seemed like like a uh, wild well, well, uh, guns would be my type of uh, game, but because I do do like like some of the shit, do like shoot 'em ups. It's unfortunate that I wasn't able to play this back when I had the Super NES.
<laughs> so I can officially say, say I'm proud, proud to uh, purchase this game, game from the uh, virtual console and and be able to uh, play it uh, every one once in a while. It's that this game is actually pretty pretty good. I did have a bit bit of a, a, a bit the difficult culty try trying to understand the controls, but I got the hang of it. Next up is Super Mario RPG. Back when I had a Super Nintendo, I ran this for a couple of times from the video store, but I never made it very far in the game because it's not often I play, play RPG game games. I'm more used to side scrolling fire or action game games. But for for this particular game, I was completely completely stuck at in my around Mario's house after defeating Bowser and I have no idea what, what to do here on. So after I've uh, learned how, how the get game is uh, played it, it becomes uh, awesome. Uh, in the beginning of my college years I actually watched uh, an entire walkthrough for, for this game and it made, gave me the urge to uh, play it. I eventually got a chance, a chance to play, play it, but I didn't may make it too far, far but I made it a bit further, way further than I did, did for a, when I was younger. So anyway, did this is the last of the the games I have to sh show off on that I've downloaded from the virtual console. So anyway, thanks for wa watching. I'll have plenty more coming your way. Until next time, see ya.